this year's theme, Paving Forward, um, where to next for East Africa uh, real estate market. And um, the focus will be on the key trends and factors that are likely to shape the, the real estate market uh, going forward, not only in 280, but uh, obviously for the next five to 10 years. You know, people look at Africa and talk about currency volatility. Here in Kenya, it's an outlier. It is the least volatile currency in sub-Saharan Africa for a number of years. And, it, and I expect it to continue to do so. And it's extraordinary when you consider that it's largely a freely tradable currency. We are a very diversified economy. You know, we're not a monoline economy. It's not Angola. It's, it's not Nigeria. We're not dependent on the price of oil. And um, I would, I, I'll just leave that up there. Um, it's actually a 50% service economy. In that sense, it's an outlier when you compare it to any other economy in sub-Saharan Africa. One of the most exciting things for me as a consultant in the built industry is the learning curve that I've observed, and especially in the East African region, as far as green uh, is concerned. And through the years, I've seen it demystified by all the stakeholders, be it the end user, be it the consultants, be it the contractors, and what have you. Over the years, it seems there's been a growing awareness of uh, green buildings. Uh, some, some years back, people did not even think it was that necessary. They, they, they thought it was something that affluent in society wanted to use or talk about. But now, people are seeing the need for them to build green. They are seeing why it's very important for them to do that. And also, um, the, the green building materials are now becoming available and they're even becoming cheaper. Um, years ago, I mean, it was very expensive to come across some of them. You couldn't even find them, but then now they're be gradually becoming available. There is an increasing need for energy efficient solutions. There is an increasing need of systems that would work and systems that would run for the long term. So, in partners, and we're getting continuously being getting inquiries about we want systems that work, we want proven technology, we want extended warranties, and sort of. So, there's been a big uptake, uh, especially even now in Kenya, apart from the law that now requires all buildings to have. Uh, uh, solar thermal energy, for example. There's been more increasing need even from residential complexes and the market as a whole. So we are seeing a trend that people want solutions that are efficient. And to add on this again is that they are smart. That forever, if I'm a facility manager of this hotel, for example, then I should have an application, for example, in my phone that I can be able to monitor all my energy consumptions in one go. I can know what's going on well, what's going on wrong, and I can be able to make interventions in time. So we are seeing an increasing trend of efficient thermal uh, technology solutions, so to speak. As a developer who has uh, a mandate to develop buildings with an environmental and a social impact, what really excites me about the green industry right now is that um, the technology is evolving so rapidly. There's so many new solutions, new and better solutions coming in. So based on the numbers, and I see this trend a lot, based on the numbers that we even saw this morning on what population growth is expected to come up, and uh, we saw a very, I mean, Nigeria is estimated to be about 400 million people in the next 20 or 30 years. East Africa as well, we, could, we saw Ethiopia, Tanzania and stuff. So there's more and more demand to more efficient uh, ways of utilizing energy. So anybody putting up a building, of course, has that in his mind, that uh, how what air conditioning units I'm going to have in this building, how energy efficient will they be. We are getting more and more inquiries now in heat pumps, things that we had thought in our initial business plan to introduce in the second, third or fourth year. Now are becoming, they're, be, they're being asked for certain projects in this region. So we've had to remodel and change our business model because yes, we, had every, we have had all these solutions in our portfolio, but customers are coming now more, more informed from the onset and those that have existing buildings as well want to do modifications which sometimes are possible in some situations, not possible in some situations, but we're trying to adapt that as much driven mostly by what the customer wants. The way we develop our properties now must be sustainable and sustainable both environmental and also to be sensitive to what the demands and the desires of the clients, what they want. So, so the issue of green energy is critical, the issue of uh, of, of, of recycling of water, uh, low cost uh, energy, the issue of, uh, of, 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 of low cost of construction and innovation in the property development. That is where the world is moving and we in Kenya must be there as well. So we're continuously seeing from, from statistics and everything that energy demand around the world is continuously growing 
and for that reason we as Bosch are in uniquely positioned to come and offer our state-of-the-art uh, efficient solutions to property developers for either residential or commercial. So the last two days have really been successful for us in terms of uh, uh, engaging practitioners in the industry, understanding where they come from, what kind of challenges they face in the industry, uh, what are they looking to do in the future, and this whole has gelled up quite well for us. Uh, we've ended the summit this today with hosting them for a lunch where we had to showcase some of the uh, solutions we have and talked about some of the projects and capabilities we've been bringing to this market and we look into our future prosperous relationships with the contacts we made during these last two days. The East Africa Property Investment Summit has been going for five years now. This is our fifth year and it is the largest property focused conference in East Africa and we target the likes of your high level investors, developers from um, different institutions to financiers to institutional capital as well as to sustainable development. We have uh, Bosch in attendance who is our key sponsor of the lunch day two and we're proud to have Bosch on board for this year's event. As we heard in the discussion before, there's a lot of um, thought and queries that are going into sustainable development, energy, um, energy solutions, as well as thermo technology. Uh, we thought of participating here this year as Robert Bosch East Africa, especially thermo technology division, because we've come into this space and we know that commercial buildings and real estate is a very big factor of driver for energy consumption. So we thought of coming here this morning to engage with stakeholders in the, in, the, in the real estate development and commercial property so that we let them know that these are the solutions we have for the industry. We've listened to what is happening in the industry, where the strategic direction of the industry is going, what projects are upcoming. So for us, it's important that we also position ourselves that it is known that we are now here in Eastern Africa and these are the solutions we are bringing. I think in, in terms of especially the residential space, you know, hot, heating hot water is obviously one of your biggest drivers of, um, of uh, energy use. So technology is one thing, so we know that solar water heating or, and things like that are going to be very beneficial, but designing the systems correctly is crucial. So, you know, when you have a boom in an industry and every second guy is installing solar water heaters, you're bound to get some clients being dissatisfied because someone installed something but they didn't have the right know-how or the product didn't have the right quality and warranties and all those things. So the, the, energy, the, the technology is a no-brainer but installations and the quality of design is, is what is going to be uh, important. Uh, I attended the East African Property Investment Summit to get to meet the developers and understand the market and the market trends. And I'm happy for, for what I have seen because I have been able to meet most of the big developers and understand the plans that they have for the future. Our main objective for being part of this summit was basically to create awareness about our brand, to get to inform, um, to get to meet and interact with the investors because they're the, 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 the investors that have attended this summit are the decision makers in the investment industry. For me, one of the areas which I, I am happy with, having done hotels, is uh, the, 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 the speciality and the skill they bring in terms of a smart system that can assist in the cooling and heating of water and using uh, heat exchange technology and, and dubbing that with efficiency from solar. So there is, there is that component which can tie this through. So for me, um, that's one of the areas which I'm looking at bringing efficient uh, energy use in, in hotel, especially hotel developments and efficient uh, energy use in residential houses where we are doing mass scale residential and efficient use of energy uh, where we are doing uh, retail uh, developments. We guarantee them that we give them the best, uh, best price performance in terms of uh, 
thermal technology solutions in terms of their heating requirements, in terms of their cooling requirements, and we guarantee them that we give them much equipment that can last the lifetime. It can last 20, 25 years in the market. It's proven technology, and we are ready to back up what we take.